As a result of the negative effects of fuel subsidy removal on the economy, no fewer than 500 households benefited from financial palliatives program organized by the executive chairman of his solo local council development area, Ola Shoju Adebayo, in commemoration of the second year in office. The event held at the council premises in the presence of political leaders, traditional rulers, community leaders, management staff, party faithfuls, market men and women, amongst others. Speaking at the event, Ola Shoju explained that it is only ideal to commemorate the second anniversary with such an event. He added that it is one of the ways the council intends to complement the state and federal government efforts on post-subsidy palliatives aimed at cushioning the effects of the policy on Nigerian homes. The council boss also used the medium to announce the free medical program that will benefit all the solo local council development area. We are supporting the agenda of Mr. President and our ever hard working governor. Today, you know that we have subsidized transport fare. As a council, we have even subsidized to that of our workforce. We are giving assisting families with this token, those who really needed it. Today, we go to our health centers and you deliver. The governor at our meeting, we have agreed that it should be free. Today, if you are boarding BRT buses, you know you are paying 50%. If you are a staff of this council, by now you have gotten my 10,000 bonus to cushion your transport. Member, Governing Advisory Council, Lagos State, Chief M.A. Taiwo commended the council chairman on his remarkable programs and projects infrastructure since he assumed office. The grateful act is one that shines with positivity and radiates happiness. It is a heart that understands the value of appreciation and acknowledges the goodness in life. The major highlight of the program was the presentation of financial palliatives to the residents. We, we, can I you? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Beneficiaries appreciated the council leadership for the support with an assurance of making judicious use of the funds. I so much appreciate the chairman, the panel of the judges that are working with him. God will continue to bless him for this organization that he equip us, the poor, and the widow with two children in the university. <laughs> I'm saying frozen food, ch chicken, fish, turkey. So what, what do you intend to do with this? I want to use and enjoy my business, to do my business, to my business going forward. I want to say that um, 
is unique, is significant for a chairman that has the arts of willingness. Because it's not because I know him personally, but because of the love for his community and what he's been able to do in the last two years is commendable. And I want to say, well done, he will do more. So far, so good. The present chairman is my LSDA, Bayo Adishaju. He's doing very, very, very well. He has done the roads, he's empowering the students, and when people come to him, he's a good listener. He listens to them. And when people like us just telephone him about one or two things, he responds immediately. I have seen with my eye, I am testifying. So I appreciate him. I ask the good Lord to strengthen him because that seat he's sitting is not easy. It's just only God, which I know that same God that I've started with him to these two years. He will continue to keep and uphold him in Jesus' name. We saw in him the ability to achieve, and we picked him as our candidate. He went ahead to win the election, the government election conducted. So far, he has not disappointed us. He has done well. When he, when, when he came to power in 2021, he achieved quite a lot. Within, within the first 100 days, he constructed and renewed and renovated more than 10 roads. I'm one of the beneficiaries. We really thank our able chairman for the great benefit they give to one and every one of us. We thank chairman and entire cabinet of this social, at this historic local government. We really thank you. Thank you for well. We saw that we make the use of the money to do the benefits in the which we need to do. Please, we really thank the local government, the Yawaja or governor, governor, or someone, Baba Jide. And we really thank our president, Honorable Bola Amir Tunubu. He has actually done wonderfully well beyond the expectation of somebody like me. Because um, when I come to solo LCDA local government, I can visibly see a lot of infrastructural and um, beautiful improvements in the local government and all grace to Otumbabai and Lasoju. So that gives me um, some good people like Bayo is really doing well. With this support, more indigent residents of Isolo LCD are being lifted out of poverty. It's been two years and some days. But as we can see, it's part of us. From what the people are saying, this is not the first time we are doing this. Palliative empowerment is a normal thing in Isolo, local council development area. So it's doing what we know how to do best. We are doing it's all of our dream. Where you can walk on a smooth road, where you can walk at any time. You are, you are, not, you are not afraid of being molested where you can go to any of the seven healthcare facilities and you can be attended to promptly, where those who are less privileged can go to university and believe my council will pay for my school fees, where we can give free GC, free jam, where those in primary school can have it all. So these are things we are doing. And in October, we are inviting to come and see when we say, welcome back to school. It's a free package where they have uniform, sander, socks, books, and bags. Oh, Go me, Nailu.